Today we're going to talk about stopper knots. You need them in the ends of lines to keep the lines from pulling through things. You don't want this to happen. And you can use a stopper knot to keep the lanyard on your favorite bucket from slipping through your hand. The simplest stopper knot everybody knows, it's an overhand knot. But we avoid it in boats because when it gets tight, it's very hard to untie. The favorite stopper knot of most sailors and power boaters is the figure eight. Some people call it the figure of eight. It's a very simple knot to tie. It's good looking and it's pretty easy to undo even after it's been pulled tight. To tie it, you just make a loop, take the working end of the line, pass it around the back of the standing part and right back into the loop. A more secure version of the figure eight, especially if you're using slippery, high-tech line, is to go around the standing part and then take an extra half turn and come up through the loop. You get a, a nice, tight, symmetrical knot, and it's still easy to untie. A third type of stopper knot that's a little bit more decorative and a little bit more permanent is uh, called a triple overhand knot. You make a bite of line, you take the working end and pass it around the standing part three times, and then you pass the working end right back up through those loops and grab it at the top. What you end up with here is two full turns, a symmetrical knot, and a great knob to keep a line from running through your hand. Another way to tie the triple overhand knot is to make a loop and then weave the working end inside the loop three times. One, two, three, and then work the knot up tightly. Well, that's it for stopper knots. Stay tuned to the channel for more uh, knot lessons and come see us anytime you want to tie one on.